Hello, so this is from my beginning mariachi class, so we're going to talk a little bit more about the violin in depth. Um, first off, we're going to start with the bow. As you can see that the bow is completely loose. Every time you're done playing or practicing or performing, you always want to loose it, loosen it. I have a tendency to over loose it all the way just to prevent anything. But when you tighten the bow, one about pinky's length going in. That's about good. When you rosin the bow, you're going to go ahead and rosin per sides. So start with a uh, quarter inch size right around here. Do the middle. And then finally, you want to do the tip. All right. Don't go too heavy on the rosin. Don't uh, like don't put a lot of aggression to it. Um, nice and easy. A second thing um, is that you'll see with the violin, when it starts to collect the rosin residue. You see it on the fretboard. It's on the strings, and it's definitely on the violin wood on the bottom of the F holes. So when what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna Get a nice cloth, a uh, microfiber works really well. I'm going to be very gentle. I like to spray on the cloth just so it's not all on the violin. Go and just clean it off very gently. You know, you want to you wanna make sure um, you do not put any pressure on the body of the violin. That can cause strain and cause it to crack. I've seen these violins crack um, through like a lot of pressure into it. I just want to clean, go through it. Go inside. And don't forget to do the bottom. And so did I just. The, Cloth like that, go on top. Don't go too hard, nice and gently. And then you want to do it straight. And that squeak is the rosin. Um, cleaning your strings after every practice will preserve the life of the string and the quality of the string. Um, these strings that I'm half carrying on the violin are pretty old. They're about a year old now. I should change them, especially for the amount of um, playing time I do on it. We want to make sure that all the gas residues off the string. And it's ready to be played. And when you tune, when you tune the peg, you want to be very gentle. So if I were to If you're gonna tune a peg, you wanna, of course, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Just turn it gently. Um, for some reason, that the peg, the the peg doesn't want to stay, and it keeps swiveling and it swivels back down. You just hold it from the neck gently, not hard. You tune it, tighten it. And you gently put a little bit of pressure pushing the wood through the head of the violin. You don't want to do it too much, but just enough so it could stay in and stay in place. Again, the way you're going to hold the bow is like this. So these fingers are going to stand out like this. Thumb's going to touch the middle finger. I'm going to put it like that. The way you're going to hold the violin is you're going to put the shoulder wrist on. And it's going to go over your shoulder. Your, this is called the chin rest. Although it's not going to really go on your chin. It's going to go on the side of your head. Side of your cheek like this. And it should be staying like this. When you play the violin. And you start placing fingers on the fretboard. Your palm wants to be going. needs to go down. So like that. If you go like this. That's bad technique. You want to have it down like this. Okay. And thumb facing up. When you grab the bow too, you want to be doing these strikes. 
right in between here. Okay, and when you use the bow, you want to use your wrist. You don't want to lock your wrist. Okay. 